afternoon, everyone. This is Shaitani Park from the European Bureau of Aviation and Defense University, based out of Cyprus. Uh, already 15 days gone for the Russian-Ukrainian conflict, and the war is still going on. Now, we have on our chat room today, retired Lieutenant General Dr. V.K. Saxena to talk about the air war in Ukraine, the assessments and the reflections. Welcome, sir. We welcome Sangeeta Saxena, Editor, Aviation and Defense Universe, to take the discussion forward. Welcome, ma'am. Thank you so much, Atali. And welcome, General Saxena, to our chat room. We've really been Thank waiting you. to hear from the horse's mouth what is the actual situation of the of war there and in the air. And, sir, uh, today, just the right day, you know, just about a few hours back, we had an announcement that uh, Biden and uh, Putin will be talking today. And uh, we're just waiting to hear. And then suddenly we also hear, uh, you know, murmurs that uh, now the actual air war will begin. So, sir, tell us what it is. Why, why in the first place, it started late. And then when it started, it's still, what is the position of the two fo uh, forces with the air warfare, sir? Uh, I must say that out of all the noise and sound which you are hearing, uh, in various uh, discussions and videos and audios, uh, something which is missing is the correct assessment of air war. Now, air war is very peculiar. Air war is a cost cause effect dual. What does it mean? It means the attacker prosecutes the air threat in land, sea, and air. And the defender tries to counter that air threat by deploying air defense resources again on land, sea, and air. How this duel is taking place is somehow getting mixed in the all the noise and breaking news and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera we are hearing. Now I am here to analyze the air war component per se. Now, before you can analyze the air war component, the first thing is try to get a sense of what are the various forces starting with Russia. You know that the global uh, firepower index uh, makes Russia number two country out of 140, uh, 142, which it has assessed. It's a huge, huge air power. Now, in the case of aircrafts and other things which it has placed, four types of aircrafts are worthy of nature. One is fighters. Other is attackers, and third are strategic bombers, and fourth are attack helicopters. Now, all of them are very, very distinct and different in their nature. Now, fighters, like for example, MiG-29, is an air superiority fighter which is capable of achieving a favorable air situation, which I will explain a little later. MiG-35 is a multi-role fighter. What does it mean? It can do air-to-air -air bombing. It can do air-to-air -air combat. It can do reconnaissance, it can do electronic warfare attacks, it can do suppression of enemy air defense, which I'll speak later. Then you have SU series of aircraft, SU-30, 35, 27, though, and of course the latest one, SU-57 of December 2022 vintage. This is just the fighters of the Russian Air Force. Come to the attack, attack aircraft, air support to grow ground forces. Two types of aircraft Russia has positioned. One is Su-25M. It is very good. Missiles it carries, rockets and auto guns it carries. Also, Su-24 is an excellent war machine with guns, rockets and missiles on board. Coming to strategic bombers, Russia has got M30, MiG-31K, which is the latest 52,000 kgs of war lo weapon load it can lift for long distance. Besides, there are old horses like Tu-22, Tu-95, Tu-160, tu I'm not counting that. Attack helicopters. Three types of attack helicopters have been positioned. One is Mi-24 and Mi-35, which are called the flying tanks. They carry guns, they carry missiles, they carry air-to-air -air and air-to-surface missiles. Mi-28 is a helicopter which is specifically designed for anti tank role, anti-armor role. And then you have KA series of helicopters, KA-50 and KA-52, the one which got shot down the day before, 
heavily armed scout helicopter which can operate in front of the main force. Now, out of all these forces, which it has got, some 772 fighters, 739 attack helicopters and 544 attack helicopters, it has positioned around 300 plus of these war machines across the border of uh, Ukraine. Now, coming to just the aircraft is not enough. We have to talk of munition. What munition Russia has positioned? It has got precision laser guided bombs like KAB 1500 and 500. It has got laser guided artillery shells, Kalaskopol 152. Besides air to air missiles, air to surface missiles, surface to air weapon system, anti ballistic and anti radiation missiles. Of course, it has got certain hypersonic weapons which are not deployed and certain cruise missiles like, like Brahmos as well as Caliber. Now, talking about the Ukrainian forces, Ukrainian forces are around 15 times smaller. When we are talking about 300 aircrafts and total aircrafts of 4731, here there are only 325 aircrafts and some 36,000 personnel. But they have deployed around uh, 59 uh, fighters and uh, 69 attack helicopters, 69 um, uh, uh, attack uh, aircraft and 29 uh, bombers. At the same time, these aircrafts are worthy of note. Like fighters, what fighters they have, what fighters Ukraine is using is MiG-29 and Su-27. MiG-29 is an air superiority fighter I just talked about. And Su-27 is a super maneuverable aircraft. That means I will not define here super maneuverability. Suffice to say that it is extremely agile in air-to-air -air combat and can do tactical maneuvers at much fast speed. As regards the attack, aircraft which can do close air support to uh, the ground forces, Su-25 and Su-24, the one which got shot down today morning, one Su-24. And then it has got attack helicopters, Mi-24, it has got some reconnaissance airport. Besides that, it has got a master weapon. What is that master weapon Ukraine has got? It has got Bayer Actor TB-2 drones. These are Turkish drones. Now, these are the drones which, have, which are called the Male drones, medium altitude, low endurance drones. They operate up to height of 27,000 feet, have an endurance of 27 hours. What does it do? What does this air, why is this drone is so important? It carries multiple munitions. It carries, first of all, radio controlled air tank guided missiles. It also has laser guided missiles for anti tank role as well as anti personnel role. It has got laser guided munitions, plus, it has got electro optical surveillance device and very good radar, SR radar on board with high resolution. Now, these are the opposing forces. Just first of all, the opposing forces I've talked about. Uh, that these are the forces. You can say 15 times greater air power has deployed some 300 plus aircraft on board. On the opposite side are some uh, less than 100 aircraft of fighters, attack, attack aircraft and attack helicopters deployed. But this side, there is uh, a TB2 drone, as also there are 17,000 anti-tank guided missiles and a large number of Stinger man pads. Man pads, the one which can be man portable anti-tank, uh, anti-aircraft missiles. So the deadly arsenal of Ukraine is not just the lesser number of aircraft. It is a TB2 drone as well as the anti-tank missile and anti-aircraft missile, Stinger, as well as Javelin. Javelin is a good anti-tank, 17,000 of which it has got from Western sources. Also, it has got its own, its own missiles in terms of surface-to-air missiles and man pads. Okay, those are the forces which are pitched. From here on, we can take on that how the battle, air battle with these forces progressed. That is important to understand. Now, progressing of the air battle is, is a follows a certain sequence. What is that sequence? The sequence is that the attacker, the one who is to launch the air threat, unleashes the air power in something called preemptive air strike. What is meant preemptive air strike? Which happened on the night of 23, early morning 24 February. What does what does the attacker wants to achieve? The attacker wants to kill maximum number of enemies aircrafts on tarmac on ground on without taking off. It is called counter air operations. 
and it wants to do something which I said earlier, suppression of enemy air defense. What is it which ails air forces, air defense? Now, air defense is configured on three verticals. What are those three verticals? Three verticals are sensors, shooters, and battle management systems. What is sensor? The one which will look for and detect the enemy aircraft. The shooters, the one which will kill. And battle management and control system is just one. It is the umbilical cord which connects the eyes to the teeth. What does it do? It carries out surveillance of the airspace. It finds out which are the targets which are there to be killed. It prioritizes them, which is closest to me, which is most lethal to me. Then it assesses automatically which is the best weapon to take on this target. It assigns that to the weapon concerned and controls the air battle. Eyes and ears do what? Eyes and ears look far. Early warning. Then they detect the air, the, the aircraft. They, they generate an air picture, which is called an air situation picture. The control and reporting system converts that air picture into a recognized air situation picture, RAS. Means it tells out of this 20 aircraft, three are mine, 17 are enemies, this, that, and the other. Means it recognizes the threat, prioritizes the threat, designates the target, and kills the target. So what is the enemy design? Kill this machine. Kill the air defense machine. Now, Russia, as it started on 23rd, 24th February, it launched its strikes with fighter aircraft, which I told you earlier, a large number of fighter aircraft went in. We started with MiG-29, MiG-35, some strikes with Su-27, some strike with Su-25M. Besides that, it did not stop there. It launched a large number of caliber, caliber mm, ballist, uh, cruise missile and Iskandar ballistic missile. It also launched a few PGMs, KAB-150. Unfortunately for Russia, unfortunately, the air defense structure of Ukraine could not be destroyed. This is the crunch issue to be understood. Why? Why it could not be destroyed? Two things. Firstly, when, when the war of Donbass was going on, started in 1415, they strengthened their ground-based air defense command control reporting system to such an extent that it is not easily destroyable. Number two, on the cyber attacks which they did to kill this system, they had counter cyber attacks with, with their own or the US and the Western media machine, they could not destroy. That was the telling point in the war. Now, once they could not destroy, the airspace remained of such a mighty air force, air space remained contested even up today it is contested and a small number of fighters just 59 fighters just 29 fighter aircraft and, and some attack still operating now this is one issue where the favorable air situation second loss for russia greatest loss for russia was not on this it was on not only the seed operation could not be conducted Russia could not manage its airspace control very well. What does it mean? Airspace is one. In that airspace, fighters have to go, attack, aircraft have to go, attack, helicopters have to go. At the same time, air defense weapons have to fire in the same airspace. The artillery shells have to fire. There is a management, there is a control system called airspace control, also called airspace management. It has to auto deconflict. Okay, aircraft going, stop missile, stop missile going, stop aircraft, route the aircraft from here, route the missile from here. It could not manage it correctly. Why? Some people, some analysts are saying they do not have. I do not believe Russians have a very strong air defense power. They have a tremendous air defense control and reporting system. It is lack of combat practice. They could not do airspace control. Now, what is that? Due to which neither the air power can be lacked unleashed with full power because they know their own ground-based air defense weapon systems are there, which are not auto-deconflicted. They can fire. They will not be able to tell which is the enemy and which is the own because other side is also operating MiG-29, Su-24, Su-27. Same. Number two. Number two. Wrong discipline. Wrong combat discipline of using the air defense weapon. Long convoy is going to Kiev, Kharkiv. When an air defense, when convoys go, air defenses are provided on three fronts. Why? What are the three fronts? First front is 
very long range missiles russia has got tremendous number of missiles starting from the guns it has got iglas it has got strela system 5 km osa ak 10 km sam 6 25 km buck 2 52 km are up to hundreds of kilometers their weapons what do they do very long range missiles deploy on the side of the uh, convoys giving long range air defense cover and before the convoys go out of the range of this they leave for they move forward a part of this move forward and goes forward keeping the convoys in their cover number one number two large number of man pad which is iglas which is man portable air defense weapon system are manning the convoy every six vehicle is an air defense vehicle normal a normal route is every six or seven vehicle air defense it has air defense weapon man pads anybody coming on top they take it on immediately and thirdly is large scale anti aircraft weapons are on board various armor vehicles never seen and never seen to be using it in all the streaming videos so what is happening air defense weapons are standing quite they are in fact lined up in the convoy it is a, i was horrified to see a weapon system like buck 2m its radar was lined up in a convoy in a convoy and it is not deployed for providing air defense protection and on the other side what is happening bare actor drones are coming which cannot be taken on by because they cannot be detected <clears throat> they cannot be taken on by the man pad because the air space is not auto deconflicted there is no air power uh, air defense power which is covering the convoy it is it was a grave sight to see a 6 ab2 reactor making pulverizing a a russian convoy for air reload that is what is happening in this issue then also western experts have believed that lack of precision guided munition we are saying they have cap 150 they have this that but there is overall lack which they could not that is why they are bombing general purpose bomb creating damage everywhere it may be a part of manipulative radio this thing etc but at the same time this uh, the information information war but at the same time there is lack of pg also some analysts have come out that the number of hours which the russian pilots are doing is less than 100 as compared to the western 180 to 240 plus simulator training it is not happening and of course i did not find in the streaming videos lot of anti anti drone weaponry anti drone weaponry is electronic warfare radio warfare soft kill weapons gatling guns etc i did not find much of it getting deployed due to this all this reason a mighty air power like russia also cannot establish leave aside air superiority leave aside air superiority leave aside cannot even taking losses and the amount of losses which which ukrainian are saying is 57 aircraft gone where whereas they are saying uh, we have destroyed 98 of ukrainian all right don't bother about 98 of ukrainian your 57 is also gone what about 83 attack helicopters gone as per ukraine okay make it half of that because it is ukrainian this even losing 30 40 attack helicopters there is this grave sight of mi24 helicopter coming down by a man pad by a man pad stinger who can believe that can happen so this is the situation of air war and the mistakes of simple air defense tactics not for right that sir and i think that was uh, very very nicely explained sir we also want to tell our audience at this point in time that sir uh you as the chief of army air defense have seen it all have seen it all but we really want to understand from a person of your uh, you know level of understanding that uh, you know the russia air superiority is beyond compare sir and uh, why is it that it's taking so much of time to just wrap it up that is what happens they say they say an ant an ant can kill an elephant if it goes inside uh, if it goes inside its trunk an ant can kill an elephant here what is happening a mighty power 400 4173 combat aircrafts of various types but what is happening 
you do not do airspace you first of all failed not failed i will not say partially succeeded in carrying out the suppression of enemy air defense i may be very weak you are very strong boxer all right you box me out but i also give you one or two on your face you 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 will never be given a winner unless you unless you uh, knock me out i will not be able to do you could not knock me out because you did not destroy my air defense completely i my air defense is still active number 1 number 2 your forces are not fully prepared for joint operations of air and air defense that is what is the most important you cannot deconflict your war zone to say to optimize who will use the missile and who will use the aircraft at what point in time that is the reason you yourself are scared to go because your air defense weapons are not fully silent or not fully active you have not deployed your ground based you have your world's best ground based air defense weapon system russia is known to be the master master of ground based air defense weapon system but these these masters these weapons will lie impotent if you do not deploy them properly if you do not deploy them in a convoy if you do not deploy them in oh. man pads your your uh, air, your uh, bear, uh, small drones which are sitting ducks can will play merry hell into you if you do not deploy your air anti drone weaponry properly you say i will take out this particular air this particular command post this particular command center this particular adcnr road you do not have mm, precision guided weapon you go and throw general purpose bomb and you say it is destroyed other side will make a hue and cry this is destroyed this is a civilian circle that is killed your pilots are not adequately trained in air to air combat you do not want to tell the world that you are not fully trained uh, in air to air combat that much and that's why you are saying lack of joint services training so it is like an ant standing against a elephant when the elephant doesn't know how to knock out a russian i am so surprised to see in this war a mighty air and air defense power like russia cannot establish a local favorable air situation in an air space which is so restricted in the war zone brings out brings out a very great lesson for our army that air defense will call the shots but they'll only call the shots if it shakes hand properly with air force if you can do your air power and air defense power handshake i keep on shouting in many of my articles and writing that in our country integrated air defense command and control system must handshake properly with ground based air defense weapon system of navy army air force because a missile will is cannot be motivated missile cannot be cannot be enthusiastic to say don't kill your own it will not see anything it will go and kill if you do not separate the enemy from the own for that air space management air space control auto de infliction most important this is what russia has to a mighty power like russia is bringing out such life lessons in air power and air defense i am i am pain to see in many of this tv shows and this nobody brings out the technicalities of why a mighty power like russia is, has not yet finished a small ant like ukraine because the ant has got air defenses which are not yet destroyed you may be mighty you may be god all alone but you have not practiced air space control properly you have not deployed air defense weapons properly you have not auto deconflicted your air space you have not used pgms properly your aircraft your air combat pilots do not have that training in air to air combat results are there for you to see 4173 aircraft versus 356 and the opponent is standing after 16th day please this is what is the lesson we have to learn don't make russians and uh, ukrainians learn you learn yourself that your integrated air command and control system of air force it has to handshake without any glitches seamless handshake between air force army navy that tomorrow if you are faced with this situation we know 
you see our own missile getting launched uh, by mistake it is a mistake of control and reporting system battle management and control system this is the umbilical cord which needs to be we talk of air defense command this is make a mincemeat of everything i have been writing integrate the battle management and control system integrate the umbilical cord today you see the umbilical cord in russia not integrated their weapons are somewhere the air defense is somewhere the fighters are going somewhere and the air space is contested these are the lessons which are here for india to learn that is what is my point right sir that is just wonderful actually if you see i mean they, these are some points which very few people are talking about and it's really nice to hear it from you sir and uh, my last uh, last one line question and i expect only a one line answer from you sir that uh, where do we see this war coming to an end will air put an end to it uh i my one word answer is no air cannot win this war why it cannot win this war because the mistake which you have done already you have gone past your convoys have taken a beating you have lost hundreds of aircraft and attack helicopters you have been unable to pulverize them to knockout standard they will continue to keep the air space contested remember remember poland may not send mig 29 poland may not send f16 of the us but continuously they will be continuously sending the man pads remember man pads man portable air defense system remember the drones turkey though it is now sounding as a mediator and all that all that but tb2 bear actor drone if you do not have so my one word answer no no you have to find other means you have to find political means and whatever other things are happening this talk that talk this talk but air and air defense will not stop this war they cannot come to the red is the winner well for blue red is the winner no sorry sir you have crossed that's what my assessment is at the moment because air defense battles are fought end to end it not no peace me there is no runners up in air defense and air battle it is done it is done now you only will get more casualties more damage more international disrim some of it has to be discounted because of misinformation campaign etc but at the same time the air space as on today as on this moment is uncontested between a mighty giant russia the number 2 country out of 142 in air power and air defense power and A small than twenty two of the one forty two Ukraine three sixty five aircraft battle. Right, sir. So that was wonderful speaking with you. And uh, you know, I think this is something which really our audience would have loved to understand. And I'm sure once they listen to all this, they'll really love it. And now we Thank take you. you back, sir, to the studios in Cyprus. Chitali is waiting for us. Chitali, back to you. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Yes, it was a new insight on the whole affair that we didn't had earlier um, about the air, the air war, and everything. Yes, it is very important for all of us to understand and know, and it is going to give a new direction to the whole scenario. Thank you so much for your uh, input, as a, sir. And as a bio you, you know, as a as an air defender, it was my heart's desire to tell my penny worth of input on air war and air defense war. no we are we are it was really great sir thank you so much for your in, inputs thanks we really enjoyed and we really not enjoyed we uh, we got many new things to understand thank, thank you so much thank you. thanks a lot thank ma'am thanks for your time sir thank have you, a sir. nice day thank you. thank you sir